Did you know Shankaran Pillai had children? He had children. It's a sweet secret. <laughs> so one day, Sunday, Shankaran Pillai met his three sons and told them, you're good for nothings, do something good in your life. If you do good things, good things will come back to you <laughs> Accent <laughs> So, and these kids were something. They said, Father, what are good things? How to do good things? Such a thought had never occurred to them. How can we do good thing? What is a good thing? they asked. He said, at least help a old woman to cross a street. At least that much good you do. So they left. In the evening they came back. So Shankaran Pillai asked, did you do any good thing? He asked the eldest son. He said, yes, father, as you said, I helped a old woman to cross the street. That is wonderful, my boy. He asked the second son. He said, I also helped a old woman to cross the street. <laughs> he thought, both of them? Maybe they were two old women, all right. He asked the third son, he said, I also helped an old woman to cross the street. He said, all of you, you found three old women to help them across the street today? They said, who is talking about three? All of us together, we helped one. What, it takes three young boys to help one old woman to cross the street? No, even we three were not enough. You know our cousin Ramu, we also took his help. <laughs> he asked, what is that, to help a old woman, three of you and Ramu also? He said, yes, you don't know how stubborn this old woman can be <laughs> She did not want to cross the street. We held her by the four limbs <laughs> So a lot of good things are being done in the world. A flower is not thinking of giving fragrance to you. It has no such intention. A tree is not thinking of giving oxygen to you, no such intention in its mind. The earthworm is not thinking of making the earth fertile for your crops, no such intention in his head, he has no head <laughs> But whatever they do, they are doing good things. Yes or no? Whatever they do, whichever way they live, if they eat, they're doing good things, if they shit, they're doing good things. Isn't it so? Because they're just being themselves. They're living according to their nature. So they don't have to think of doing good things. Only because human beings are not living according to their human nature, they have to think up good things <laughs> and they think up these good things which are unbearable for lots of people <laughs> hmm? <laughs> so,
So, this is not about you doing good things. If your humanity flowers, what is needed will anyway happen. Like if a flower blossoms, you don't have to tell it shoot the fragrance in the air. It will anyway happen, nobody can stop it. Whether somebody is there to appreciate the flower or nobody is there, still the same fragrance will come. When you come more, when you do not come less, no such thing, all the time. So, a couple of weeks ago, we put you on bhakti sadhana, the way of devotion. Devotion means just that, that's how you are. You're not acting it up when you see one particular person. Sadhguru, like this, somebody else, hmm. This is an act, this is not going to work. Just becoming like that. Becoming like that, not by training, by digging little deeper. If you dig deep enough into this, that's how this is. If you live on the surface, you have to act like how somebody else says is a good way to be. There is no good way to be. There is a human way to be. If you overflow with your humanity, divinity has to descend, it has no choice. If your humanity is constipated and you're trying to be good and good, <laughs> good is not going to work. Good is not good. <laughs>